The purpose of these videos is to orient you to what components look like and how you act on them. If you haven't yet viewed the Watch Me First video, please do that first as it lets you know what to expect. As you read in Chapter 5, charts provide ways of visualising components and the associations between them. There are many different ways of doing this in NVivo, and not all of them are called charts in the software, but for simplicity we use the term chart as a catch-all name. Charts are different from the other components in terms of actions. Because they are displays of other components, actions are taken on the components displayed within them, not on the charts themselves. Chapter 5 lists and describes each chart. In this video we just show you a few to give you a flavour of the range of ways that the associations between components can be visualised. We look at a hierarchy chart, a comparison diagram, a 3D column chart and different ways of visualising query results. Charts don't have a special area in the navigation view where they are all stored together, not like maps do, but we access charts from the Explore main menu. Here are the various different options, including the ability to create maps from here. If you're interested in maps, please watch a separate video on that component. As our intention with these videos is not to teach you how to operate in vivo, I'm not going to show you how to create charts, but I have prepared a few to illustrate what some of them look like. Let's first of all look at a hierarchy chart. This particular hierarchy chart is showing the proportion of coding achieved on particular sources. Here I have a comparison diagram focused on two particular nodes and Envivo has automatically shown me the associations between those two nodes that I chose, community change and sense of community down east, and illustrating the connections between those two nodes based on the associations with other project items. Here we have a chart. In this instance, we're looking at a breakdown of the, the socio-demographic characteristics of particular cases in the project. That's three examples of charts that are generated using the options in the Explore menu. But we can also generate various visualisations in the form of charts from some queries. Word frequency queries, for example, will allow us to visualise the results in various ways. Here I'm looking at the cluster analysis view, which is showing me clusters of words. And that's one of the options down the tab view. The default view, of course, as we've seen in other videos, is to give us a summary, which is just the list of words. But we've also got the word cloud, where the bigger the word, the more frequently it occurs. And the tree map is showing us the same visualisation, but using differently sized squares rather than differently sized words. The final visualisation that I'm going to show you is one way of visualising the results of a text search query. Here, for example, we can see the word that's been searched for in various contexts within a tree visualisation. And each branch of the tree is accessible. When I choose one branch, it shows me where the other side goes to. Just like most query results, I can double click and access the qualitative data within the source context behind just by clicking through the different visualizations.